Hello all, in this video we will learn how to write data into the GPIO pins of MSP430 using a switch and the compiler I am going to use here is the Code Composer Studio. So this is nothing but the objective of the program to control the on bit in LED by an input from the onboard switch. So I am going to explain you now the diagram or the hardware configuration. I am going to use here as P1.3 and P1.6. P1.3 for the input which is connected to the switch and 1.6 which is connected to the LED. Over here in the MSP430 G2553 module I have two LED options. One is with P1.6 that is of green LED and at P1.0 which is of red LED. So I am going to use here green LED which is connected to P1.6. So now depending upon the condition of the switch when the switch is closed then we will find that LED will be on and when the switch is off in the second diagram you can see when the switch is off the LED is also off. So I am going to perform this experiment. So let's start the Code Composer Studio. I have already explained you how to start the project in a Code Composer Studio and how to run this. So this is my Code Composer Studio. The first I will write or I will have a new CCS project over here. This new CCS project can be assessed through this project terminal over here in the top. And there I have to select the microcontroller as I am going to work on the MSP430 G2 or the G family series. So I will select here G family and there I will select my G2553. So this is G2. 553. The name to this project I am going to give is project 1 or project 1 and in this project you will find all these files now. So once I press the button finish you will find a window will open over here that is project explorer window and in that there is a project 1 which is having these files. This is my compiler window where I am going to write my program in the C language. So this is the program. Now you can see here that in this program we have the first MSP430 library. Then we have the washdog timer stop instruction. Then we have a P1 DIR. It means as I am using here port P1.3 and 1.6 for input output. So I don't need to use the select register over here. I will directly come to the defining of input and output pins. So P1 DIR will tell us about input and output pins only you can see the P1.6 is set to 1 and rest of the bits are 0 means rest of the pins of port 1 are at input function and only P1.6 is set for output. Then 1.3 is also set for input over here then we can enable it for pull up and the pull down. So you can see here that I am using the instruction P1 REN and the value over here is 08. 08 means 1.3 pin will have the value 1. It means it will be set for the pull up configuration. Then I am going to give a value to my output register and if this output register is containing any one value for P1.3 it means that is that will be used to define my pull up and pull down configuration. Here I have only enabled it for pull up and pull down and using this instruction I am enabling it for pull up configuration. Then I am going to use here a while loop. The condition is not there and it is an infinite while loop in that there is a condition if condition it is saying that p1 in value and the bit 3 value if the result of these two is 1 then this instruction will be executed otherwise I will move to the else instruction. So this what this instruction is saying that is important to know here bit 3 is nothing but the value of third bit that is p1.3 is uh, equivalent to p1.3 is 1 whereas p1 in is having some value. So what I am doing here I am ending the value of p1 in register with the one value at the p1.3. It means only this value will be set to 1 when the p1 in will have the value 1 at p1.3 pin. Otherwise if I am ending it with a 0 value this bit is already 1. It means 1 and with 0 the result is 0. It means this result will give me 0 value. But if the P1.3 pin is having 1 value then this AND operation will give me 1 value. So this simply says that if 
the one value is here or the button is high open then we will have this instruction and this instruction says that my p1 out value is odd with the bit 6 it means whatever the condition of the p1 out is that will be odd with the value of bit 6 or simply one value at the p1.6 so when you or any value with the one the result is always one so you will find the p16 at a high value and it will turn on the led whereas in the other case you will find the p1 out to be at the zero value so for that we are ending it with the not of bit 6 not of bit 6 means simply not of 1 that is equal to 0 so whenever we end any value with a 0 it always results into 0 so it will turn off your led so this is my program i am going to build this project first so i am going to write here build all you can see the building of this project has been finished then i will run this project and debug it I will click for this proceed and some background operations will be there so you will see after that you will find this project is ready on my msp430 module this one which i have connected it through the usb so now you can see this led is on which is the condition of my open switch this one so when i will press this switch when i'm going to press this switch what will happen this led should turned off so you can see this is happening and once i release it it will again come back to the on stage so this is how we can control the any of the output device of this msp430 with the help of the switches you can connect the additional leds to these pins you can see over here these are the additional pins or the other ports pins which you can connect to the external circuitry to an led or to an switch and you can do your program according to that thank you very much